You've done so many things that were scary in the past few months because you were there holding my hand. When someone you love's in trouble, do anything to help them. I want to be that for you too. You are not hidden. I think you have an eating disorder. There's never been a moment. I know that I've got some issues. Forgotten. You are not hopeless. I know I don't eat like normal people. Do you have been are you broken? Okay? Your innocence though. I was just wondering if you've been eating okay. I hear you whisper. <laughs> Charlie? I hear your SOS. I think you're right. I think I do have an eating disorder. I Charlie has an eating disorder. I don't know what to do now. I don't do anything. I'm just. I really love it. And I'm scared. There is no distance. Is there something wrong with Charlie? I cannot be covered. What's going on? Over He's been acting so How? You You're cannot talk to him, but why? Because he can barely talk to me about it. I'll should we, should we go somewhere quieter? No, it's fine. Charlie. I'm just still really worried about you. I really want you to talk to someone, parents or a, a doctor or something like that. I know it's hard, I know it's hard. Love can't cure mental illness. I just can't do anything. No, I didn't say that. You can be there for him. Just to talk. Or listen. Standing together, even when it's hard. That's love, darling. I love you. I love you. I get that you're scared of being a burden. We just want to be there for you. You have to let us. We keep escaping parts of staying out with each other. We get to do it every time. I hope so. Or anyway, this time. I hear you. Me and Nick. Me. You see me in my absolute rock bottom and hasn't run away screaming. You don't think I'm fragile, do you? No, no. Charlie, you're like the strongest person I've ever met. You know exactly who you are and, and what you want. I think I'm... I think, I think I'm more fragile than you are. Need to recharge. <laughs> what are you doing? Recharging. I love you. I love you too.